everyone, it's me, Bia Silas, and I'm back at it again with Stayin' Playin' to show you how to use this substitution cipher. The first step is to print out one of the wheels. Then, you cut it out. You glue the big one onto a piece of cardboard. Next, you take the little wheel, put it on top, grab a pin, and put a pin in it. And there you go, you have yourself a wheel. Now, let's try to encode a message to our friends. First, line up two letters of your choice and make sure your friend knows the letters. For example, S and P for stayin' playin'. Let's try to encode the message PANDA. First, you would find the P on the inner wheel, which would be here. And what letter does it line up with? S. So P would be S. Then you go find A. A lines up with a D, so you would write D. There's also an A here, so that would also be D. Then you can try to find the N, and N would be Q. Last but not least, you would find D, and D would be G. And there you go, Panda encoded. To decode a message, you do the same thing, but from the outside to the inside. So let's pretend I just got this message from a friend. First, I would find the S on the outer wheel, and I would see that it would line up with the P. So for S, I would write P. Then I'd look for the D. The D lines up with the A, so I would write A. There's also another D here, so I would write A again. Then I'd look for the Q. The Q lines up with the N, so I would write N. Then G. The G lines up with a D, so it would be D. Panda. Now, for a more secure message, with each letter, you turn the wheel once clockwise. So, for example, you line up S and P, or whatever your two letters are with your friend. Then, you would find C on the inner wheel. That lines up with S. So you write S. Then you turn it over once and you find A. A lines up with E. So you would write E. Then you turn it one last time and then find T. T lines up with Y. So would you write Y. Now, to decode it, you would line up S and P. First, you find S on the outer wheel. S would be C. Then, you would turn it once clockwise and find E. E would be A. You turn it one last time and find Y. Y would be T. And there you go. Now, you can try to decode this message using S and P, and you don't have to turn the wheel at all.